what's up what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel as you know yeah it's a guy here with uni and again yeah what's up babe how do i look <laughs> you look great i think that's my hat i think i left it in kenya on with me oh no it's not okay maybe i brought my <laughs> yeah is that clean hat ah uh, okay okay job, yeah. well i need to find that's what's going on here how are you doing yeah so guys today we have a nice topic and the, the topic of today is is like makes you want to know how the progress and how things are at the farm and uh, i'm here to explain to her how things are here yeah so let me know any question you have for your farm <laughs> so you you sent a picture to me the other day and you were in the Shamba, the farm. The barn was like above. And in my time knowing you, so since okay, since I came to the village was in 2017, it's been pretty dry. And so this was the first time that I've seen like produce machine in your so yeah, I'm just curious, like what have you guys been growing and how has that been going? Why is it doing so well now and well in the past couple of years and all of that? I'm really interested because whenever good things are going on, right? So I want to hear all about it. Yeah. So it has been raining, like, I think since Jan, uh, not like January, for some several months, um, it has been raining. So mm -hmm. we did like farming, we planted like, we planted maize, beans, potatoes, neshamba. And they have been doing very great because the rain it has been persistent every now and then, every now and then. Even some people they have started planting again. So now it's very green, as you can see. As you can see, it's very, very green. Everything looks beautiful. And uh, mm -hmm. people harvested, we harvested like beans a couple of days ago. We have started eating them. They are not dry, but we are eating them when they are still in the farm and they are. They are ready. We're just waiting for big produce, which you have to wait for them to dry, but we are still eating them. Then the potato, ah, potatoes, yeah, potatoes, they are already, they are ready in the farm. And the, the place looks beautiful, it looks great. And the, the place is missing you a lot. <laughs> which we are here to see. It's very, very green. I think you have never experienced, I think you have never experienced this kind of experience. As you can see now, it's like, like now you can see what we are doing now. It's the we are peeling out the beans from there, so for from the shamba, so that we can boil them and uh, get them ready for dinner. So you can see what we are doing right now. That's what we are doing. So the place is so nice and it looks beautiful. Uh, it's green. Uh, have you ever seen this place the way it is like now since you are in Kenya? No, it hasn't been that green. I don't know if it's just like all the some climate system shifted in and all this because you've been telling me for the past couple of months a lot, reading a lot, and so I'm afraid things would be drowning. Yeah, it's now green. It's now very very. You know, like the seeds that were planted would just be away. Yeah, this network is unsustainable. The Wi-Fi is yeah it's behaving right now. So yeah. Uh and I don't think it will, it will be dry that dry like the way it has been before because now we have well as the project you can see from the recent videos that we did. We were doing the project of the well and uh, we are doing that because we want to start like doing irrigation in the farm. So I think in the mm -hmm. future it will also be green like this. Let's hope so. And uh, yeah, I think everything will be okay. Uh, next time, maybe when you come, you have some maize. Like now, many people are eager, especially me, I myself, I'm very eager to <laughs> to do my dijoma, to roast maize. So I'm eager to see that. Also for me, it has been a long, long, long time since that I have seen this kind of experience, like the way it is now, the way it's green. It's a long time since I have seen that. I think it's a couple of, I think like two years or three years or four years. I don't know, even I can't remember when. I saw that place being like the way it is right now. 
Yeah, I haven't. I have I've known you. I've been going to the village since 2017. It's a surprise, but I feel like you've told me when you were younger, yeah. there was a lot more green, a lot more green. Is that right? Yeah. When we were young, it was every time green, it was evergreen. There was big trees. Uh, water was uh, everywhere. Even when I was young, some water, uh, water used to come to our homes. And we used to... Mm to scoop the water outside the, the house. So I don't know what happened let alone like now. I think this issue of the way they say that climate change, I think it's real, it's real. It's not something that, it's not there, it's real. It's, it, it's something real, I have, I have experienced this one. So right now, for some years, the climate change and everything was not working. But right now, something is working. We don't know if it's just for some season, or some parts for some few months, then the rain will disappear again. Uh, let's hope everything will be okay and everything will be fine. And it will be back to normal as usual. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I know you have like an aunt and some cousins and his wife all live in the village right now. So how does having so much produce growing in the farm them? So that's why you can see them here on this video, peeling the peeling beans out of their shells and they preparing them. They are all happy for produce and right now you see when you have out of produce from the shamba, that means everyone is happy and that means uh, everyone can have something to eat and the the price of and the price of the commodities like the farm produce. The, the price will go down, not like the way it was up. So now everything will go down. Like some months ago, during our wedding last year, you see the potatoes were very, very expensive. So it's like one bucket will be like 1,000. Like, But now it's cheap. Mm -hmm. I think the prices has gone down. The price of meat has gone down. The price of beans, it has gone down. Everything has gone down for now. The price of foodstuffs, it has gone down. That's what I can say, yeah. That's so great. Is happy. Yes. So people are less hungry and have more to do now and preparing all the food. That's awesome. Do you have to wait for the beans to dry before you can eat them or can you just pluck them, cook them and eat them? Yeah, as you can see, the one that we are feeling right now, it's they are not dry. They are still fresh from the shamba. As long as they are ready, you can eat them. If you want to store them, that's when you have to wait for them to dry so that you can store them for the future if you have a big produce to store for some for some months or some years, that's when you have to wait for them to dry. Gotcha. So you're able to eat them fresh, but you have to let them dry. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And are these beans, are they coming out like all different colors? Because I remember you talking Beans that are grown in the village, they have spots and colorations on them than like beans you might buy in the supermarket. Yeah, they are different colors, like the house has spots. Then some are red, some are whitish, some of them they are like they have some dots. They are different colors, yeah, true. Good. So a lot of Gideri is gonna be eaten. Out of Gideri, even I'm missing Gideri, <laughs> because now even you can get some maize and Gideri from the market in a cheap cheap price and uh, mm. it, because the maize is cheap now so and uh, okay. so dry maize is uh, soft maize mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm sure you're really happy eat all the good there you want so when you come to the us it's not going to be easy to find <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes i don't miss it there i miss it there like now and uh, i think tomorrow i'll have to eat it there yeah from this year. You go get some of that. Are you going to doctor it up and make it fancy or are you just going to eat it? What? Beans, may salt. That's it. <laughs> we're going to see. We're going to see how it will be. So that's... Because I've had it... What? Okay, go on. I've had it both ways. I've had it in the village when it was like your auntie made it beans, maize, and salt and that was it. And then I've had it where you add a lot of, a lot of different things to spices and it's really good 
I mean, the way your auntie makes it is good too. Pretty uh, bland, you know? But when you make it, you add some spices. I don't know what you do in that. You can make it there. It tastes really good. Yeah, it's all about experience. <laughs> So a lot of yeah, yeah, it's all about experience. Then there's another one we used to say like you put it on on a plate. Mm, mm. Let me imagine my phone is a plate. So there is inside here. You put it there, there. So you eat. So this there, it's a you just boil maize and beans. So you just put it here and you add the salt. Now you eat. So that one we used to when you put salt, you have to do it like. So that the sort can yeah yeah then makes sense we used to say it's one two three pass it to your dad <laughs> one two three Nigeria <laughs> dog so that's how we used to call it that one without but just it just makes and bits and just eat, eat it and sort mm. it's like that in it it's so interesting and it's so fun when you have these kind of produce and they like now even if you like going to the farm every day, every day, but <laughs> because it looks nice and beautiful. It's very green, that place. It's so, so nice for real. It's gay. Yeah, it makes me to have a lot of memories of yeah. the town over there. So, so nice. So, this network is not allowing us to talk more. It's up and down. Uh, Yeah, yeah. So, I think we're going to stop there. Maybe you want to say to our fans, our subscribers. Yeah, just see like how the weather is in their area. And if they're having lots of rain, if they're able to have produce in the area or if things are a bit drier for them. So I'd be curious to see what's going on there. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for your support, for always watching our videos. Continue showing support by subscribing, liking, commenting, and then... Uh, turning on that notification button and uh, if you have anything you want us to talk about to address now we are here and uh, we will do our best to be giving you guys like two videos in every week like the one two videos me and babe here and meg every week like two videos we want to try that and uh, maybe some in the middle of the week that i'll cut on my way walking around here and maybe going to the village going to the farm so guys, thanks so much and uh, see you in the next one. And uh, bye bye guys. See you guys. Yeah.